looking for a gift for a saxophone player or maybe you're a sax player who needs a way to drop some hints to your loved ones so you don't get another ugly sweater this year. In this video, I've put together a list of some great gift ideas in all price ranges that will make any saxophone player very happy. Just about everything I'm gonna discuss here, I own and have been using for a long time. I bought all these things myself, but if someone had given them to me as a gift, I would have been very happy and very impressed with their gift giving skills. If you're a sax player, go ahead and share this video with your wife or girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, mom, dad, you get the idea, or just buy the stuff yourself, that's what I do. Everything I discussed today is linked in the description below. And if there's any great gift ideas for saxophone players I'm leaving out or I don't already have, go ahead and put them in the comments below because I need some new stuff. Okay, starting out with a few stocking stuffers. All these gifts are under $30. This first item is a nice little mouthpiece pouch made by Van Doren. I have uh, one for my alto saxophone case, one for my tenor saxophone case. Keeps your mouthpiece from rolling around in the case, from getting damaged, from ligature falling off, whatever. It's just a nice little thing to have. They make a tenor mouthpiece size and an alto mouthpiece size, so be careful which one you get. Okay, these things, what are these things? No, they're not like socks. This is a swab. It cleans out the inside of your saxophone. It's a really nice swab. I've had this one for over 10 years. I use it every day, several times a day. Super high quality. It's made by a company called BG in France. There's one that goes in the body and one that gets used for the mouthpiece and the neck. You have to be careful with the body swab there are different sizes, one for tenor saxophone and one for alto saxophone. Okay, now this is a box of reeds. This is the sort of thing saxophone players always need. The thing is, it's kind of personal what saxophone players play. So with reeds, you have to be careful because there's all different strengths. They are made for different instruments, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, and there's different brands. So I recommend sneaking a look inside the saxophone player's case find out what they play, or you can just ask them, I suppose. Find out what they play, and, and that's how you're gonna know what to order. Next up, we have this very nice reed case by Rico. It's actually Diodario, the name of the company. Bit confusing. It holds eight reeds, alto reeds, tenor saxophone reeds, clarinet reeds, whatever. And it has this little moisturizing thing that keeps humidity in the case. I've recently upgraded my mouthpiece case to these. These are made by Van Doren. It's called the Hygro case. Um, they make uh, different sizes. A smaller one, which is suited to alto saxophone reeds, soprano saxophone reeds, clarinet reeds. And they make a bigger one. As you can see, these are the two different ones. They're exactly the same. The case is the same size. It's just the inside holds the reeds a little bit differently. You can just get the tenor one or the, the large size. It fits alto reeds and tenor saxophone reeds, clarinet reeds, soprano saxophone reeds. The smaller one will fit clarinet, alto saxophone reeds, but it doesn't fit tenor reeds. So if you had a choice, I'd get the bigger one because it kind of covers all your bases. Okay, now we're in the next level of gifts. These are all under $65 or so. Okay, first up is this thing, this crazy contraption. It's called a sax holder. It's like a neck strap, but what it is really good for is holding heavier instruments like tenor saxophone. It puts the weight of the instrument on your shoulders rather than on your neck, which can be really uncomfortable for saxophone players. So I use this for when I play tenor saxophone, baritone saxophone, even sometimes on alto. It relieves a lot of the strain that I get on my back. It has this thing here that, that transfers the weight of the instrument through your shoulders by pressing on your stomach. I don't really know how it works, but it does work. Can't really go wrong with this one. It works with any saxophone, but it's especially, I find it's best for people that play tenor or baritone saxophone. Okay, and next up we have this stand. This is made by Hercules. It does this cool thing when you put the saxophone in it, the weight of the saxophone triggers this mechanism that kind of grips grips the thing. So it is really stable in that stand. Nobody likes that their things are yellow, why they put like this construction worker yellow on all their products. If they just made it black, it would be so much better, but whatever. It folds up pretty easily, not too heavy. 
There it is all folded up. This Hercules stand um, has holes. You can buy attachment pegs for holding like a flute, a clarinet, a soprano saxophone. Uh, so it's great if anybody's playing multiple instruments, one of these with a couple of pegs, you can get three instruments on there. It's a good on-stage stand that's reliable and pretty sturdy. Then there's these other stands that I like. They're made by K&M. The design is really subtle. It's kind of minimalist, nothing yellow on it. And what this one does, which is kind of cool, is you unscrew this here, and then it folds up, and it becomes this small. And it comes with a pouch, then you could use it in the pouch. You could put it inside the bell of your saxophone for storage in the case if you wanted to. Pretty cool design. Next up is this thing, this crazy thing. It's called a sax deflector. I love this thing. I use, I bring this on all of my gigs. Basically, you play your saxophone and this thing bounces the sound back up into your face. One big complaint saxophone players always have is they can't hear themselves when they're playing it in a loud band. This thing is a great low-tech solution to that problem. It attaches really nicely to the bell like that. It also stores away in the case. I've had this one for a couple years now and I've used it extensively. It's really well made. Very happy with my sax deflector. This is called a reed geek. Saxophone player will know what it does. It makes your reeds play better. I'll link the video up on the screen for my description of what a reed geek is. Okay, these next items are the next level. These are when you really wanna spend a lot of money on somebody. It's a special occasion. You wanna get them something nice and somewhat expensive. Here's a few ideas in the expensive price range, over $100. This thing here is called a ligature. A ligature is what holds the reed onto the saxophone mouthpiece. It's made by BG in France. It's a fantastic ligature and it looks really cool. Uh, I've been using it for the last couple months and love it. They're kind of expensive. It's the sort of thing that not all saxophone players are gonna be like, oh, I'd really like that, but I'm not gonna spend a hundred bucks for that thing. When it's a gift, that's how you get something really nice. This one is the, is the gold-plated one. It's beautiful. Okay, all saxophone players need to play, need a microphone at some point when they're gonna play live in front of people. I've got a couple options for you here. This one is made by Audio Technica. And this is like their entry level model. I used one of these for years and years and it does the job. I then upgraded to this one. This is like a serious professional mic. It looks the same, I know, but the electronics are very different. This is the Devote by DPA, fantastic pro microphone, costs a lot more money, but it's another thing that will last for an entire career and will make somebody very happy. Saxophone players, musicians, they need good headphones. And I have like multiple pairs of good headphones. The ones I use the most, I use these in the practice room a lot. They're these, these Bluetooth ones by Bose. They're the Sound Sport. They're fantastic. I love them. Another set of headphones I have is made by Shure. These are wired headphones. Sometimes you need wired headphones for different recording purposes or whatever. These are professional in-ear monitors. They're kind of designed for playing musicians. They're fantastic as well. Okay, sticking with the high-tech stuff now, this here is the Zoom H5 recorder. They make several different models. I use the H5. It's like a professional piece of gear, but it's very accessible to anyone is basically like a little mini recording studio. You can put up to uh, four different inputs, regular microphones, any microphone that you might have uh, and record with this. And it has a built-in microphone that it comes with that records great audio. So a lot of musicians, they wanna record their rehearsals, they wanna record their lessons, they wanna record themselves playing in their practicing situations. This is an invaluable piece of gear, and I highly recommend any musician have something like this. Okay, now for something really fun. Uh, this is called an iwi. These are iwis, which stands for electronic wind instrument. Okay, it's really like, this is a professional instrument, but it's also basically like an awesome toy that any saxophone player is gonna enjoy playing with and having a lot of fun with. Uh, so there's a couple different versions. I have the Iwi 5000. This one is the more expensive model. It uh, It's kind of like a complete 
thing. It has its own sounds. You could just plug it in, plug it into an amp, and go and play. This uh, this one here is the Ewe USB, and this is not really a standalone instrument. You need to hook it up to the computer, or in, I use this with an iPad to get the sounds. So they're both great. This one, you need some other gear to use it properly though. Remember, the links for all this stuff are in the description below. Um, you may have noticed I didn't talk about actual saxophones or mouthpieces. That's because those things are highly personal. The, if you're buying this stuff for someone else, they need to try it first, mouthpieces and horns. So don't, even though it sounds like a nice thing, don't surprise somebody with a new saxophone because you might get the wrong thing that they're not really looking for. Same goes for mouthpieces. They're highly um, individual items. Before I go, I forgot to mention, I teach saxophone. I have a website called bettersax.com where I have some courses for sale. Um, they make great gifts as well, depending on the level of the saxophone player. Uh, here's a couple that I sell DVD versions of. Everything you need to know about these courses is over on the website. There's a link in the description below. If I helped you find a gift idea for a saxophone player, great. Go ahead and click the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See you later.